We love streams, 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 streams. What's up? Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Here things are bigger in Texas. That's right. Oh, you're good. Yeah, I'll probably, I don't know. For, for now, I'll probably stay in, uh, stay in the Arkansas area, but uh, I've always wanted to go out to uh, Nevada for some reason. I've always wanted to live in Las Vegas. So that may be, uh, you know, sometime in the future, I may actually make the effort and uh, find a place out there and maybe move. We have like a lot of, uh, you know, we have like a lot of nature out here, but, uh, which is cool. But I really just kind of want to be in a place kind of like uh, out there in uh, Nevada with their, um, you know, the landscapes they have out there. And this may be a place too that has a little more going on after the sun goes down. Uh, I and mean, that's the kind of thing here is, you know, after probably about, 9 or 10 p.m. there's really not much going on unless you want to go to Walmart or IHOP, you know. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the cost of living in uh, Vegas is pretty high. That's kind of what I'm wondering. I, I don't know. I've heard it's a little, it's kind of reasonable as well, though, if you're, you know, like, like in the, uh, down near the strip or something. But, yeah, I'm kind of curious about that as well, about... That is one thing about this area is cost of living is, I mean, it's not ultra low, but it's definitely nothing like it is other parts of the country, so. But I remember uh, when I did my first Vegas trip in like 2010, uh, yeah, I can remember, you know, we flew back and of course Vegas, we were going out, you know, staying out till three or four in the morning doing stuff. And then we flew back and got back into town about nine o'clock. I was with some friends and we were asking, uh, you know, you want to go get something to eat or whatever? And we started naming off places and we're like, oh yeah, they're closed, they're closed. <laughs> you know? So we ended up just going to IHOP, I think, or Waffle House. But, uh, that was disappointing coming back and nothing to do, you know, after having all that uh, stuff to do, being a night out. Yeah, Vegas travel stream. I don't know. I mean, I would definitely love to do it. I don't know if I'll be, uh, I've got some big, good vacation time now since I got, you know, some good carryover from uh, not being able to use a lot of time last year. So I guess whenever it's a little safer to travel, I may look into going out to Vegas. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see if, uh, See if Gino will come out there. We can have a uh, we can have a Vegas 2.0. <laughs> I remember that's back when I first kind of got into Twitch was when uh, they had all the Vegas streams. Me too. But yeah, that was some of those were some of the some of the first IRL streams I watched on Twitch was the uh, Gina's and Dashers and Jay's uh, Vegas streams. I'm not sure. I think he said. I know. I think he said something about have a good day. But I didn't hear the rest of it. I didn't really want to. Uh, <laughs> didn't really feel like stopping to get into a conversation. I just said, have a good day, too. I think he said, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, Gina, did you know that? That the uh, the Vegas stream when y'all were all together. I, I think I had kind of been into Twitch maybe like a maybe a week or two before that. But that's when I really started watching and got to uh, yeah followed followed you and Dasher and Jay. And then uh, what was it? I think Dogline came out too to meet you all then. I know there were some other people too that we uh, you know that were on the stream so. <laughs> There's one of those cars driving around. Maybe that's what they're maybe that's what they're programmed to do because that seems to be what we always see is they're just driving around and playing music. <laughs> Maybe they have like a free program mode that is like uh Yeah, I think I barely recognize that name, Gina. I don't think I ever really got too familiar with him. I remember, I think it was, what is it, Ryan's brother, I remember Jess. Hey, welcome back, Royal. Just wrapped up the sunset. We're going to walk down a little bit here to we'll see a little bit of the river market. Yeah, this kind of the area that I was talking about on the bridge. It would be kind of like our, I guess, you know, like nightlife, you know, when everything would be open. You got some bars down this way. I think there's like two piano bars. They're kind of like dueling piano bars that actually duel with each other across the street for business. You got the flying fish. I think is a chain in this kind of in the south. They're known for like beers and uh, I think on Wednesdays they do all you can eat catfish. So that's that's really good. any good food joints you've been to in the city here yeah the flying fish is good um, used to be a place named uh, gusano's which is like chicago deep dish style pizza they used to be down here but they recently moved um, i just don't come down to this area a lot so we might have to come down and explore it sometime i think most of the stuff has changed since uh, a couple years ago when i actually came down here a couple times Reacquaint myself with uh, what's good to eat down here. I know there's a place down there called 